everybody how are you guys doing thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you guys are staying safe please stay safe wherever you are god bless you so today it's a beautiful day today we're going to be having a collaboration not with just one channel two channels i'm going to be having this collaboration with smart ftv and fit but summit these three channels talk about health these three channels talk about weight loss so today we're going to be making different meals that you can make to help you lose weight most importantly stay in shape so it's going to be like a combined video kind of something a little different but anyways thank you for joining us and watch so i'm going to be making cauliflower fried rice yeah i don't know what they're making but we're going to see in the next video what they are making so guys if you're low carb diet keto vegan paleo or you just want to eat healthy skip the rice use cauliflower rice all right thank you so much so let me just go ahead and show you the ingredients all right over here i have the cauliflower I already riced it i used my food processor you could also use your grater you can also buy the frozen one in the store i just like to make mine myself and we're going to be using black pepper, soy sauce, which is optional. Here I have vegetable stock, you know, like the chicken stock and all that, but this one is vegetable bouillon cubes. Here is a mixture of um, powder, ginger, and garlic. I have the vegetable broth. I'm going to be using it to, you know, steam the cauliflower rice. You could use chicken or bone broth, whatever you have. And I have no time today. I'm out of time, so I'm going to be using a dash of cumin powder. I already measured out the vegetable stock. You can see that. Here I have my hot <laughs> scotch butter pepper. It's optional, guys. Here I have chorizo. You could use a uh, beef. You could use chicken. Um, you know, whatever meat you like. And here, in here I have mushroom. Mushroom is good for you. Over here is my rainbow pepper. I have the uh, onions, it's already cut. Yellow pepper, red pepper, and green pepper. And also, I'm going to be using egg. I have salt. I'm using coconut oil today. Feel free to use either olive, extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil. Those are the oils that we use on keto. All right, and of course your pan. So let's go into making this cauliflower fried rice. And P.S. Shrimp is also good. If you want to use shrimp in place of either mushroom or your beef, sausage, whatever, that's absolutely okay. All right, so let's go and make this. We're going to be using two burners. One will be to steam the cauliflower fried rice. There's another way to make this. If you don't want to steam it, that's fine. You could just pour it when you're done with your sauce. But I like to steam it. You could use water too. It doesn't have to be vegetable broth or any broth. You can use water. But you're not putting much. You're just putting a little just to steam it because you don't want the cauliflower to be mushy. You want it to be uh, still feel like a grain of rice, okay? Also, you can add sweet, you can add um, sweet peas to this if you want. So I'm going to allow it to like steam for seven minutes. So while the cauliflower is steaming, we're going to go ahead and make the, the sauce for it. I'm just adding the, you know, the oil. So when it warms up, I'm just going to go ahead and put the onions. The first thing is going to be onions and the mushroom. Okay, I don't want the onions too hot. I mean, to the oil. So, I'm going to throw in the onions. Go ahead and slice your onions any way you like. Today, I just feel like being a little fancy. So, we need the onions to be soft. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add the seasoning cube, which is a vegetable seasoning cube. Give it a stir. If you are using a fresh ginger garlic right now, you can go ahead and add it. If not, just follow my step. So now the onions is soft enough. We're going to go ahead and add the mushroom. Feel free to cut the mushroom to any size you like. Add more, add less, your choice. I'm going to fry this for a minute and a half. 
for just a minute. I'm gonna add the sausage too. If you're using shrimp, you fry your shrimp first and set it aside. You do your sauce and then you add the shrimp back again. That's if you're using shrimp. So now we go ahead and add all the rainbow pepper. My beautiful rainbow pepper. It's not spicy. It's sweet. So now I add the scotch bonnet flakes. Remember this is optional. You can use red pepper flakes. Always adjust your seasoning to your taste whenever you're cooking. Don't say because I'm going to add this channel, added this quantity, I'm going to add no. So now we'll put some salt, just a little bit for now. You could test and if it needs adjusting, you adjust. So I'm just going to add a little more oil. Just like a teaspoon is fine. So now I'm adding the ginger and garlic powder. And like I said, I don't have the seasoning time, it's finished, so I'm using a little bit of cumin, just a little bit. But if you like it a lot, you can put more. And also, the black pepper. And we will mix water. So now we're going to be adding like... Uh, teaspoon of soy sauce it's also optional okay and you mix together we're almost done guys we're almost done okay so now this is set we're gonna leave it and go now to the flower so I'm gonna turn off the light for this okay this is the rice you can see it's ready we still need it kind of crispy up mushy, that's fine. So right now we're going to go ahead and transfer the sauce into it. And mix it together. Look at that beautiful color guys. Doesn't it look like regular fried rice? It does. You're not really missing out eating healthy. Okay, right now it's time to add the egg. I'm just going to move the rice aside. And I'm going to pour the egg. I'm going to allow it to just fry just a little bit before I mix. I just want it to kind of scramble a little bit. And then uh, I incorporate everything together. Okay, so now we just push it into the rice. And let them all cook together right now. All right, guys, here you go your cauliflower fried rice. Don't overcook it, everything should take you like I mean 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, this is for me and my husband. We're gonna have fun. You can add any protein, any other protein you want, but this is just absolutely okay. When you eat this and you drink like a cup of green tea, man, you are good to go. Alright guys, this is our cauliflower. Let me try for both of us. Who is hot? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You need to try this, guys. Believe me, guys. You have to try this. You will eat with no guilt, zero carb, zero sugar. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure having you in my kitchen. If you're seeing my face for the first time, thank you for coming. Please do not fail to subscribe that red button that says subscribe. Please touch it and also tap on the notification bell so you get notified anytime that I upload any video. Okay, stay tuned and watch other videos. Bye and stay blessed. Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? Welcome to another video. Yes, today we are in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen because today's video is about 
cooking up some healthy recipes. I'm gonna be making one of my very favorite go-to healthy recipes. It's good for weight loss, it's good for health, and weight maintenance is absolutely, totally yummy. I'm gonna be making my version of fruit salad. You may have had fruit salad before in the past, but I trust and I know that you haven't had one quite like mine because it's got one or two secret ingredients that just absolutely eh, take it over the top and make it really special. So, without much further ado, here is my fruit salad recipe. So check this out. I have my fruits all washed and cut and ready for the mixture. Here they are. So this is the fruit I'm using. I'm using some purple, some apples, some pineapple, and um, that's some banana. I love to put apple always because it just brings that nice crunch factor. And I love me some purple. Look, you can go to town with it. Any fruit of your choice, feel free to use that. It will totally, totally work. So just use any fruit of your choice. I just grabbed what I had available what i had at hand and that's what i'm going to be doing now this is some coconut you can use the coconut as it is this is a um, grated coconut i could use it as it is but we're not going to do that if you use it as it is it's just as nice like it's absolutely delicious too but we're going to take it a step further because i'm extra i'm going to take it a, a step further just wait and see so here I've got myself a frying pan. It's all heated up. I heated it for a little while, like a minute or two. And there's my coconut. Uh, this is what we're doing to it. So you may need to do this part. You may need to do this part um, like 30 minutes before you are ready to mix the rest of the fruits or you could do it first and start chopping up your fruits just so that it has time to cool down. Of course, fruit salad is always better when chilled, in my opinion. We're just gonna make it, kind of caramelize it, okay? So to bring about that caramelization, this is what we're doing, check this out. <clears throat> check this out, I've got some stevia in the raw. I'll just be using one sachet. They're just to bring a little sweetness. It really helps. Little sweetness to the coconut. So we want to keep it as low calorie as possible. So that's the sweetener in there. We have some vanilla essence. So we're not going to be using a lot. Just uh, about half a teaspoon. I'm eyeballing it like it doesn't have to be a precise recipe. Your fire shouldn't be on, it should be on medium heat or even a little lower than that, just so it caramelizes and not burns. There you have it. I don't like to do it for too long or it could burn. And we do not want that, definitely. Okay, so let's go to the next phase. So the next phase is very simple, like pretty simple. You just, um, you just add all your fruits into a bigger bowl. Wow, this bowl looks a little small. Hope you can stir well. Okay, that's what we have so far. You can add your coconut. You have to be careful with the coconuts. Yeah, they're healthy, they're good for you, but they're pretty calorie dense, like they have quite some calories. So be careful with your portion size with the coconuts. Okay, this is another secret ingredient. One of the things I add to my fruit salad that really takes it like to another level of ultra deliciousness. This is cinnamon. This is just about a teaspoon. We're gonna be adding one tablespoon of powdered skin milk. Barely one tablespoon. It's gonna be a little less because this portion is not. It's only on the smaller side so and you can take any kind of milk you want you could of course use your liquid milk you can use your almond milk that's pretty low in calories too so just use what you like this is going to make two servings for me two servings so I'm going to show you what that looks like what one serving looks like 
So this is a meal, like this is a whole meal and it's super filling and absolutely delicious, like I said. So it's time to try it out. I'm not even fronting, like, I know everyone does this after cooking, but this is good. Like, this is so good. One tip, you may want to put this in the fridge for a little bit, just so it's nice and chilled, but it's really good even if it's not chilled. Ah, this is so yummy. Mmm. I can have this all day, every day. It's super nice. We've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to try this recipe out. Like it's so, so good, so delicious. It's going to definitely turn into one of your favorites. Thank you so much. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the notification bell. Like this video, please. Check out my other videos in my channel. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye. Hi guys, this is Smart FTV again. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support always. We are going to be showing you how to cook health food which will help you to lose weight and maintain your body shape as well. On addition, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a thumbs up for me and a comment as usual. Thank you so much. Hi guys, this is Smart App TV again. Thank you for tuning in. So today I want to show you how to prepare five minutes food which will help you to lose weight. All what we need, we need salt, broccoli, oil, onion, carrots, um, tomatoes, and Irish potatoes. That's all what we need. So keep watching.
So this is the food. It's ready. It's ready as you see it. It will lose your weight very, very well. Very, very well. And you will thank me later. So go ahead and watch my auntie's own recipe on how to lose weight too. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching Smart TV. Right there on top of the moon.